Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and it's raining and I'm bummed out. And just to explain, um, it's usually the opposite. I absolutely love the rain whenever people talk about living in you know, Pacific Northwest or London. They're like, oh, it's awful here. It rains all the time. I love it. I, 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 I've always loved the rain. Um, uh, and so it's been raining for you know, basically about a day and a half. It rained for about 14, 15 hours straight. Um, actually got... <laughs> Semi close to flooding. Not yeah, the street and the sidewalk were flooded, but it didn't get up the driveway. So I've got to say, Luna deserves a medal. They need medals for dogs. I'm not talking about dog tags. I'm talking about like she held it in so well. Oh my gosh, we got a little. You can you can hear it's, it's basically died down. Oh gosh, like 15, 16 hours, and she went out. She needed a little help. Because it was still kind of drizzling. So I went out, I stood in the rain. She's like, okay, well, he survived. Um, uh, that's my job. <laughs> that's always my job. I go out in front and then I don't die. And people go, oh, okay. I did that in Afghanistan with the faulty mind detector. I do it here. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he says, so she went out there and she just unleashed. Oh, my gosh. That didn't look like 16 hours. It looked like 16 days worth. That, that little girl is a trooper. But I've been... I've been bummed, as you've seen. I only did one video yesterday. Um, I read comics. I'm ready to review them. I just, uh, I'm just uh, uh, heartbroken, basically. And it has to do with this Tom King thing. Um, I actually recorded a video about it a couple days ago. It was too angry. It was too raw. It would have taken hours to freaking edit it. I just deleted it. Um, just some guy did a video like that went up like three minutes <laughs> after I deleted mine. That was you know, much better. And... Um, hit all of the points uh, that I was going to make. But then, just as he did that, the story actually changed. It's changed twice. And um, no winners. Everybody loses. Everybody freaking loses. Even the people who think they got what they want, they lose. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, geez, it was just, uh, I guess, two days ago. Lunchtime, yeah, two days ago where that morning it had been announced that there was a variant cover of the Rorschach maxi series that was drawn by Jay Lee. Jay Lee's been in the industry since uh, my senior year of high school. Uh, he's considered a legend. And this is what Tom King says. Today DC put out an alternate cover to Rorschach by Jay Lee, who has also done covers for Comicsgate, a hate group. DC does not consult creators on alternate covers. I reached out to them to express my deep disappointment. Far as I'm concerned, this is the cover to Rorschach number one. Um, so um, Tom King, as has been said many times, was in the CIA. He knows about the power of information and disinformation. He knows he's a writer. He knows the power of words. Based off of a couple of tweets from the usual suspects, who spend their entire lives on Twitter. He participated in a digital lynch mob and tried to destroy the entire life of someone. Basically, effectively because of cooties. Uh, there's been dozens, hundreds of videos about Comicsgate. I'm not going to waste anyone's time. But Comicsgate is a hate group, hate movement, hate whatever is ridiculous. It's a faction of nerds arguing with multiple other factions of nerds. This has happened since the ARPANET was created in whatever, the 60s or whatever. I'm sure there was some tech sergeant at Grissom Air Force Base talking trash to some other one about War of the Worlds. You know, some other guy over in Offit, whatever, talking on ARPANET. It's nerds arguing. Yes, there have been individual actions that are regrettable from people of all factions, anti-pro, farmer, multiple... Individuals bear, you know... You can't blame a whole group. As just some guy says, do we get to say Tom King supports waterboarding because he was in the CIA when it happened? And unless, you know, unless he's personally said, yes, I support it, I don't think you get to push that against him. Um, uh, I don't want to derail in this and talking about all the weird theories about Comicsgate, but the reason I'm so heartbroken is because at some point you realize there's mentally ill people out there and they're going to gravitate towards Twitter. Because Twitter really lets you form a persona. Um, a lot of the, the mental ill people, they kind of do this thing where they're like, oh, I just noticed this. But 
this is your whole life for years. You're, you're mentally ill. You need to see a psychiatrist. There's also people who are just malicious. They like hurting people. They've realized that in the current political environment, there are people of certain groups where you're allowed to do effectively anything. Um, you're allowed to just spend every day for years trying to harm them, trying to get them to commit suicide. Um, and basically nothing will happen to you. Um, it's allowed. Uh, uh, there are certain forms of hate. There is an actual hate mob. They don't have a name. Uh, it's just a group of weirdos on Twitter and it's their entire life is hating people. Do I believe Tom King actually has any great hatred for Comicsgate? No, I don't. But I believe he's a very, very weak man. And what it looks like to me is when he felt any heat on himself, he was perfectly willing to join in on the digital lynch mob, help point them in the right direction, and then step aside hoping, you know, thanking, you know, the good Lord that he was not uh, taken. Um, now, I had to have a little conversation with myself about why I was so disappointed. And it all comes down to us, me and Tom, both being in Iraq during the initial invasion. And we've seen what the Saddam Hussein regime did to its people. I've gone to mass graves. I've gone to mass graves the size of freaking racquetball courts. I've had friends see binders uh, with photos of people who had experiments done. We've seen actual evil, like evil. The idea that you want to call Jay Lee a member of a hate group and you want to destroy his whole life because of internet cooties, it it's, goes so far past disappointment and disgust that I don't even think there's a word for it. Um, and it, it ruined my weekend. And at time I usually enjoy, you know, uh, uh, rain, especially like stormy rain, I love it. I was just heartbroken. So then, after joining in, I'm trying to get through this without doing any that, you know, heart of a personal invective or cursing. But there's a word, and it seems like the thing I say about uh, cursing is sometimes it's just the best way to express something. I don't like when it's just used lazily, but sometimes there's no, I mean, you, you stub your toe on, you know, the dresser in the, in the middle of the night. Gosh darn it. it. It doesn't fit. Screaming motherfucker or something like that fits a lot better. The word that keeps popping into my head when I think about Tom King and his reaction to this is coward. There's a lot of talk about toxic masculinity, which is just trying to rebrand masculinity as toxic itself. But at some point, there needs to be a man that says, to that mentally ill person, to that malicious person, to that miserable person, I'm not going to help you hurt this person because of your little internet game of cooties. You ignore them or you don't join on it. Yeah, you could speak against them. I, that's, they want that too. They want the attention. This is an attention game. The idea that this guy who's been in the industry for 10 to 15 years was willing to help a digital lynch mob destroy the entire life. It's not like it was like, hey, I think he should not be on this. It, it's a signal. This guy is targeted. You said he's a part of a hate group. Hate groups are things like the Taliban, the KKK. It's not nerd group number 7,125 arguing with nerd groups 6,837, 8,032, and 1,250. This is a serious accusation. This is a life and career destroying accusation. And this coward, Tom King, did it just to get a, a internet lynch mob off of his own back. So then, hours later, six hours later, six hours on Twitter, especially when you're the target of a lynch mob, might as well be six years. He says, I spoke with Jay. He's not on Twitter. Didn't know Comics Gate existed and doesn't support hate of any kind. We're all good. Best possible outcome. So, having been in the military, I have been lied to so many times. I've been lied to by Lance Corporals, and I've been lied to by Generals. And one of the things that when you get lied to so many times is you start to recognize the patterns of a lie. The 100% complete fabrication 
is almost non-existent for adults. Usually they will take something that actually happened and they will dissemble, they will steer, they will leave entire parts out. When he said this doesn't support hate of any kind, I knew what this was. This was him talking to someone he doesn't know, who just got wind, probably from a cousin or something like, yo man, you're being canceled. He probably didn't even know what canceling was. He's like, what? I don't even know this guy. What? He's like, I, I don't understand. What? So, he's like, no, it's actually pretty bad. Like people lose their careers over this. So then he gets a ring from Tom King, who could have rang him that morning before doing any of this. Tom King, you were in the CIA. You're one of the top writers. You're a millionaire. You work at DC, Marvel, you work at Hollywood. You could have gotten his email within an hour. Now apparently you did that in the afternoon. But the doesn't support hate of any kind is, is, is a stranger who just tried to destroy someone. Hi, um, so I, I just wanted to hear that you don't support hate. You'd be like, what? Yeah, no, I don't. What? What? No, I don't. We're all good. You're not good. Tom, you joined in on a digital lynch mob to destroy this guy's life because you were too weak to stand up to him or just ignore him. Howard Chaikin doesn't like me. He's never directly said my name that I know of, but he'll do references in Facebook posts and uh, uh, cartoonist kayfabe. And I'm pretty sure he's referencing me. And it all basically boils down to, hey, that Zach guy, fuck that guy. And then he moves on with his life. He's made no concerted efforts to harm me. Um, he's made kind of oblique references that are very much couched in, you know, hyperbole and, you know, just cranky old man idness. But it's fine. That's how people used to do Ah, fuck that guy. I read uh, uh, Mickey Rourke and Robert De Niro beefing. They're both like 70. <laughs> but they're beefing like old guys. Yeah, screw that guy. Tom King, you know how words work. You know how information works. You know how disinformation works. You know the damage you did to him. This is not you trying to help Jay Lee. This is tr you trying to save your own ass, where after a couple hours, people are like, just like this guy here says, shouldn't you have spoken to him first before accusing him publicly? And then, then into the wider group of, of saying that everyone who associates with Comicsgate uh, uh, considers it to be a formal group, which I do not, uh, of you know one of the multiple factions. So this woman uh, uh, who is... Um, uh, married to a DC artist uh, says uh, Mr. King will you denounce me as well for working with CG for being part of a quote hate group unquote knowing full well that I am a Chinese female immigrant would a group so truly opposed to diversity have welcomed me so here's where it gets into the you're going to get sad you're going to get angry uh, so I just want to reiterate, don't contact any of these people. Don't contact Tom King. Don't contact Jay Lee. Don't contact... Just leave Twitter right now. It helps no one. It hurts everyone. And if you, these mentally ill people, they weren't as mentally ill before they got into Twitter. The malicious people weren't as malicious. The miserable people weren't as miserable. All it does is hurt. It never helps. So, uh, and again, I, I wish I knew... Uh, can I expand it? I don't know. So Instagram is, is mainly focused around images. Uh, so if you do a post, uh, it just kind of puts it in this. I, I, I know I found a way before to get the... I think it was to get it to go below? Uh, I don't know how to do it. Anyway. Um, so uh, Jay Lee at... Um, we'll even say the time. Two hours ago. Wrote... Two weeks ago, June and I, which I assume is his, is his partner, domestic partner, uh, took Loki, their dog, to San Diego to see a specialist. He did not survive due to complications from the surgery. This past Friday was supposed to be a day of mourning. We were back in San Diego to pick up his ashes. We were, we were going to take him to the beach and comfort each other by sharing our favorite stories about our little boy. So I don't have a dog, but I have, you know, I'm staying with a friend. He's got a dog. I've grown very close. Uh, uh, I've had some okayish dogs in the past, but it was a long, it was decades ago. And so um, I don't even want to think about dealing with stuff like this. Um, but I can imagine how tough it is. So he says, last Friday was supposed to be a day of mourning, two days ago. Instead, a part of the internet I avoid like the plague came barging in. 
I had companies I'm working for calling me, friends reaching out to me. I'm seeing hate pouring out of strangers' mouths, accusing me of things I have no knowledge of. I'm seeing firsthand how fast lies are spreading. Let me be clear, I'm not part of any group. We never, we never made it to the beach. We spent the entire six hour drive back home on an emotional roller coaster. Again, six hours between the initial accusation and the all good, which was more disinformation from Tom Kane. I'm writing this because I'm angry. These irresponsible tweets are not harmless. They do not just go away. They have real world consequences. They can take away your job, your life, your memories. June and I were robbed of a special day. So no, we're not, quote, all good, unquote. This isn't the start of a conversation. This is the end. So please don't drag me into a world I never wanted to be a part of, nor will I ever want to be a part of. I want to honor Loki by going back to producing art made with love for people who enjoy it for what it is something that hopefully brings joy into their lives. Mommy and daddy miss you so very much, Loki, our love. Um, so uh, Raphael Grandpa uh, offered his condolences. Um, as far as I know about IG, it's not a very comment heavy um, platform. So there's, there's really not a lot there. Um, uh, but uh, one of the things that was so disgusting about Friday is you saw as they found out that Jay Lee was not part of Comics Gate. They started, the people who tried to destroy his life just hours earlier, sometimes minutes earlier, were going, ha ha, take that CG, he doesn't belong to you. Um, I never thought he did. I only ever thought that that was a gig done for money. When I hired people, there are no uh, discussions about allegiances to different internet uh, cooties groups. Uh, it, it's very blunt. Are you available? Are you interested? What is your page rate? How often, you know, how long does it take you to do a page? That's it. They show me a page. I, I pay them by PayPal. That's it. Uh, in fact, as I've gone on as, you know, I'm not a boss. I don't have any employees besides myself, but I'm whatever you call the guy who hires, you know. Um, so I, I feel like it's not so professional because ultimately I could be someone firing you um, for, you know, uh, w for specific reasons. So I was like, it's going to be a, it's going to be a too much of a change. You know, we're just chit chatting. So I actually chit chat a lot less with people. The more I work with them, I chit chat a lot less. Um, uh, there's some exceptions. Um, the, the exception is basically how are you like older? If you've been in the industry for like 20, 30 years and like, I was a fan of yours, like I'll still kind of like chit chat. Oh, cause I was like, Oh, I'm talking to so-and-so. But if we're like age peers or you're younger, yeah, I'll probably, I'll, I'll be very just, business like um uh and that's that's my assumption there's no assumption of allegiance i don't assume that i know there are some people who make a deal of of kind of saying like uh this per claims that i don't i don't factor that in at all um uh in fact i will just i will work with anyone you would be surprised how little communication i've had with people um that i've worked with um but uh the thing I'm just, just so, it's just, so you saw people try to destroy a man's life, basically for internet cooties. Oh, Sally talked to Janie, who's dating Jimmy, but he really likes Jeanette. And, nee, 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 nee. and these are people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s doing this bullshit. You tried to destroy him. Then when you found out that you tried to destroy him under false pretenses, you still tried to make it a win for your side. Oh, look, at least he's not CG. He basically said what I always assumed, that he wasn't part of any group. No normal person go, I'm part of this group. I'll That's a very, very small thing. One of my favorite things is to see the usual suspects. Like, I went to a convention. And I asked people about CG, and nobody even knew about it. That says a lot about CG. It says a lot about you. Your whole life revolves around trying to hurt them. Your whole life revolves around trying to hurt people that the normal person is not concerned about in any way, shape, or form. Um, one of my favorite things is to hear people try to talk, you know, to like uh, their significant other that like explain all this nonsense. They always just nope out like 
30 seconds in. They're like, okay, so I'm thinking spaghetti for, for spaghetti. Yeah. So um, these people who tried to destroy this entire man's life. Then when they found out they did it under false pretenses, then they, they still tried to make it a win. Well, he's not for Comicsgate. Then again, like I said, we got disinformation uh, right here with saying this guy is part of a, a hate group. We got disinformation right here saying they're all good. People understand statements and actions made under duress. Um, uh, and, you know, whatever mumbling, you know, heartbroken conversation Jay Lee had, you see, he says six hours later. So, you know, six hours was the length of the, the drive um, and the, the length of the, um, the, the hate movement against him, the hate mob against him. And he's angry uh, because he watched 30 years of a career, probably 15 years of drawing every day as a kid learning to draw. 45 years of drawing, almost destroyed in an afternoon because of a weak man who gave in to a digital lynch mob who joined up with them. Um, uh, is Jay Lee going to survive this? I believe he will. Uh, but he's always going to have this stain. And he's also going to... One of the worst things that SJWs do to you is they take away your peace. Um, is that... If he doesn't get that job, he's always going to have to wonder, is it because of this? He doesn't know. Um, he's always going to be under a microscope forever. Uh, and also just, just the fact that some people in their privilege, and in some cases in their mental illness, decided that you're not a person, you're a thing. And they get to destroy you or defame you at will to make them feel better, to not deal with their own problems, or in Tom King's case, uh, as an act of cowardice to get the heat off of him and put it onto someone else. Um, uh, I don't think we would miss much if Tom King just moved off to Hollywood and never wrote another comic. I think we would miss a lot if Jay Lee never made another comic. Um, I actually prefer his, uh, like, way back in the day, like, when he was on Namor. That was a great run. I like that stuff. He kind of had, like, a Simon Bisley thing. Now this stuff's more artsy, but I really respect it. It's just not really my thing. The idea that... Um, uh, someone would participate this when they've been in a war that they would join in on uh, mentally ill, malicious and miserable people who live their whole life as Twitter, their whole life as Twitter. And all they use it to do is hurt people. Um, that this man who's been in war, uh, not a combatant, but he was an in intelligence, but he was there that he would not have the fortitude to either just ignore this or not join in on. I, I, like I said, I know people say stand against it. They want that too. <laughs> the, the 12 psychos on Twitter, they want that too. Because then they get to attack you. You just ignore them. You just ignore them. 20 to 36 hours. We saw the last week. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, two days of trying to destroy the uh, publisher of uh, Dynamite. Then it was, you know, it would have been two days uh, for Jay Lee, but Tom King called off the dogs. He really called him off on himself because he, he realized he went too far. Uh, no professional courtesy. You're telling me a CIA officer couldn't have found Jay Lee's email or phone and checked with him on that Friday instead of ruining his day, a very important day in his life. He's never going to have that day back to, to do what he wanted to do. And nobody who loses any day is going to get it back when these, these cancel, cancel culture bullies come after you. You don't get that peace back. You don't get that peaceful day. I lost something minor, just a rainy day I would have enjoyed. I wasn't even directly targeted. I just had to see this awfulness. Uh, Jay Lee had a, 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 a day that he needed for something, and it was destroyed by this, this coward, Tom King. Um, I'm a pretty forgiving guy. Uh, very forgiving, I consider. I, I grew up in uh, Catholic school. I thought forgiveness was a normal part of uh, life. Um, this one's, I'm, you know, I'm not going to dwell on this, but it's, it's. I, I just, I consider this the last Jenga piece that was pulled out. This is no longer an industry. It's just a bunch of vicious children just trying to hurt each other, uh, and I don't want any part of that. Um, uh, 
I, I don't like it. It's not funny. It's not fun. It even it even like comes over to like I was re- reading uh, 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 Batman by James Tinian, which I'm enjoying. But still, I've seen James Tinian joining on this uh, this ridiculous hate mob of comics gate as a hate movement. It's it's staining everything. There are there are no winners, and even the mentally ill people who like all of this, you know, uh, pain. Uh, it's not helping them because it's it's making their mental illness worse. Um, no winners. Um, the Tom King, the one that I'm just disgusted in. He absolutely knows better. He was literally trained to know better. Um, so all I see this is a weak man willing to help destroy someone else so he himself is not destroyed. So one of the reasons I deleted that other video is because I don't just like to say everything shit by jawbreakers. <laughs> like, you know, you're supposed to have some sort of plan. And the plan, oddly enough, comes from Ron Mars, uh, you know, when he was joining in on another hate mob against Cecil, he says, you know, cultivate your own garden. Now, he used that in a base way of don't even try to work on something you don't own because we're going to come for you. We're going to come for the rights holders. We're going to try to ruin that for you. It's good advice. I'm not going to fire myself. Cecil's not going to fire himself. Shane Davis is not going to fire Yancey Lynn. <laughs> I'm sure there would be some fireworks uh, if uh, that happened. Uh, that was even attempted. Um, make yourself unfireable. Own your own stuff. Own as many of the, uh, what do they call them, the means of production as you can. Know how to uh, set up a print file or learn, or learn or at least know a lot of it that you can spot when something's not set up properly. Um, geez, you know what? Letter, you know, that cuts out one more, uh, you know, one less person is one less person to betray you on, on a project. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so cultivate your own garden. That's the answer. Um, and, um, do I think things are getting better? Things were getting better, but the lockdown just allowed everyone to get fester and get more miserable, which is obviously an environment in which, uh, cancel culture will thrive. Uh, so things are going to open up. Um, I'm still predicting a super apocalypse for the industry uh, at the end of this year, the beginning of next year. Super apocalypse is not no comics existing anywhere, but it is it is the direct market as it existed in 2019. What will happen in 2021 20, will be completely uh, different, um, fundamentally so. The other thing that I saw about this was so disgusting is I saw people um, saying that uh, there... Uh, Jay Lee not knowing what Comics Gate is is not an excuse. I saw other people looking for uh, HR to basically be doing to to make this like part of official policy. Like you have to check if someone has internet cooties, not if they you know said something that can make, but like just associations. He drew a cover for someone he's known for a couple decades, and one of the things comic industry they they don't use the word friend very well. Everyone claims, oh, this person's my friend. You, you know that person, you talk to him at three non-consecutive San Diego Comic-Cons over 10, 15 years. You're not friends. Friends drive you to the airport. And not when they're also going to the airport. Friends answer the, f- the phone at 4 a.m. Like, what the fuck? What, bro? But they answer. You know what I mean? There's a huge difference between an acquaintance and a friend. Um, uh, so, um, but anyway. Cultivate your own garden. And uh, nobody won. Nobody won. At some point in any crucial, crucial juncture in a life, in history, you need someone just to stand up and just be like, no, I'm not doing this stupid shit. I'm not joining this lynch mob made of crazy people. I'm not spreading disinformation and then spreading more to cover my own ass. He could have just fucking ignored it. These, these hate mob attacks by cancel culture... They last 20 to 36 hours. If they don't get something that satisfies them, which includes blind items, so don't do blind items about it. Blind items means you don't say it directly, but you describe it in a way that uh, the average person can say, oh, he's he's referencing that. You just ignore it. 20 to 36 hours, they will find another target. They always do. They are, they're out for blood. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to, stick that stinger in a mannequin and there's no blood inside they will go find you know another animal to harm uh so anyway thanks for watching 
I'm not going to show them. I put my books up there. It's too sad. It's too sad to talk about it, like Ying Yang says in Expendables. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to promote my stuff. But um, cultivate your own garden. Don't participate in digital lynch mobs. If you find yourself the target, don't try to cheese touch it onto someone else like a complete coward there, Tom King. Ignore it. 20 to 36 hours, they move on to another target. Yes, they will circle back in a lot of cases, but not all. But it seems like the circle back is even shorter. That one might, I, I've never accurately determined how long the circle back, you know, attack goes. But the initial attack, 20 to 36 hours. You just, nothing. You give them nothing. No comments. You don't donate to charity. Nothing. Silence. They will find another target. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.